Hey everybody, today's the day that I'm going to finish up my ChemiClean treatment on my 20 gallon angelfish tank. So I wanted to do one final video talking about cyanobacteria and in particular I want to talk about ChemiClean today. Now I know you're getting tired of hearing about ChemiClean and cyanobacteria, believe me I'm getting tired of talking about ChemiClean and cyanobacteria, but this video I think is going to be worth getting out there and mentioning. My last video I spoke about, I talked about having never used e-mycin or erythromycin to treat my tank for cyanobacteria and a lot of people say it works great and so on and so forth. Well after the video a few people pointed out that uh, ChemiClean is erythromycin and so I started doing a little bit of research into it and what I found was interesting. I found out that it kinda sorta is but not really. And what I mean by that is it's got a different chemical structure than erythromycin that we think about as the medication. Uh, usually when we name medications, we don't add on the hydrobromides and the sulfides and stuff like that at the end. We just call it by whatever the medication name is. And in the case of erythromycin that you would get from your doctor for a sinus infection or something, that's erythromycin ethyl succinate, I believe. And we just call it emycin or erythromycin, and that's what people are talking about when they say, oh, you should use emycin or you should use erythromycin in your tank. They're leaving off the ethyl succinate part, probably because they don't know about the ethyl succinate part, but they're leaving that part off, and they're just simply saying you should use emycin. So what the ChemiClean is, is erythromycin... Uh, acetyl sulfate or acetyl sulfate, which is different than the uh, ethyl succinate. So I don't know what those differences are, but it makes it a different compound. And when you when it comes to chemistry, the tiniest little change can make enormous differences. Uh, you could add or remove a single atom of oxygen or move a carbon bond somewhere and you can make some medication either useless or you can make it a thousand times as potent. Or a tiny little change can completely render something of a different nature. Take water and hydrogen peroxide for example, you know, you've got H2O, you add one simple oxygen and now you've got H2O2, you know, water and hydrogen peroxide are completely different things. So for the idea that anybody is going to simply say, oh, well, erythromycin is erythromycin is erythromycin, it's all the same, that's just not true. So yes, ChemiClean is erythromycin cetyl sulfate, which has a surfactant attached to it, I believe. I think the cetyl sulfate might be the um, surfactant agent aspect of it. I'm not sure, but that's where those sudsy, um, you know, the foam you get on the top of your water comes from there being a surfactant in there, a very small amount of it, I'm sure. But it's just not the same. So I'm sticking by what I said in my last video that I've never actually used the emycin in my tanks to kill it. So maybe I'll try that next time around because, again, this comes back every six to nine months. I have to treat, you know, a few of my tanks. This is just part of the normal maintenance that I go around every, again, maybe six to nine months it comes back. So here's where I'm standing on the thoughts on that, though. Um... I can't imagine that this is something that um, so the cyanobacteria is something that dies and then comes back to life after nine months. I also find it hard to believe that the ChemiClean is killing most of it but leaving just enough of it in the tank that it slowly makes its way back and after six months or so it explodes back into life or something. That just seems odd. If it was going to come back it would start coming back gradually and it would grow the way, you know, algae comes back or anything comes back. It doesn't just lay dormant until it suddenly explodes after six months or something. So what I tend to think is happening is the fact that it got in my tanks in the first place. I haven't moved my tanks anywhere. They're still in my basement. My basement is still my basement. It's still, nothing has changed. If it got into these tanks in the first place, it's probably going to get back into them again. That's probably where it's coming from. I do believe that the ChemiClean is probably wiping everything out, but it's coming back. So if I try it with the erythromycin, it'll be worth a shot. You know, so six or nine months when it comes back, maybe we'll try that instead of buying the ChemiClean. Well, I don't have to buy it. I already have it. But 
Uh, instead of doing that, maybe I'll use the emicin and we'll see what happens. But I suspect it'll come back. Anecdotally, when I look on forums and I look at people's conversations about it, most people seem to say it doesn't come back after they use the emicin, but not everybody. A lot of people say after six months, I had it in my tank again. And so that leads me to believe it's not the product, it's the environment that the tank's in. For the people where it comes back in six months, it's probably people like me that kill it off and then don't make any other changes. And so if you got it in the tank in the first place, you're probably going to get it in there again. You know, and again, and again, I'm not taking my tanks out of the basement. I'm not going to redo the way I maintain my basement and scrub the walls and clean the floors and make sure there's no, you know, damp spots in the corners and all that. This is my basement. It's just always going to be my basement. And that's kind of why I said a long time ago is I just don't really care. It's, it's easy enough to just do this treatment every now and again and not worry about it. If it comes back, it comes back and I'll do another treatment nine months from now and it's, it's just not a big deal it really isn't and so maybe i'll try the emicin get rid of it in one of my small tanks and then you know see if it doesn't come back in nine months if it doesn't maybe i'll you know that'll be my way to go and we'll, we'll proceed from there so we'll be talking about this again you know in the future but for now we're done you know this is the last video we're going to do in this little go around my angelfish tank looks good and clean we'll see that soon enough in a video there's no point really in <clears throat> Excuse me. There's no point really in showing a, uh, you know, final video of me just doing a water change on the tank. It's not going to be any big deal. So thanks for watching this one. Hope to see you real soon in the next one. And don't forget, of course, this one here is my 125 gallon New World tank. So thanks again. I'll see you real soon.